This is Fredericktown Black Cats football on KDKZ Channel 18. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Black Cat football on KDKZ Channel 18. Alongside Chuck Penuel, I'm Dave Ward, voice of the Fredericktown Black Cats. The Black Cats are at home to take on the New Madrid County Central Eagles tonight. And Chuck Penuel, two teams kind of going in different directions here tonight, kind of trying to find their way. Trying to find their way, and the Black Cats need a big win. Need to come back, you know, get the wheels back on straight before we get to district play. Four and three Black Cats, two and six New Madrid County Central Eagles, kind of going in a different direction. I coached, talked to Coach Arlen Pixley earlier, and he said uh, there's several seniors on the team, but they haven't had a, real, a lot of playing time as of yet, and they're still trying to find their way as they get ready for district play. It should be a good one here tonight. Uh, we're trying to get healthy. James Royer's going to be back in the lineup tonight. Still missing uh, Reed Roberts, but uh, should help us out quite a bit. Yeah, Reed will help it back when we get him back, and hopefully we get everybody healthy and ready to go when, when district play shows up because uh, that's when the games count. It's going to be a beautiful night for football, 57 degrees at game time. Uh, two and six Eagles, four and three Black Cats. Stay tuned for the coin toss and the opening kickoff right after this. Battery problems. It happens every time you want to do something. You just want to mow the yard, right? You've got to make it to that big meeting on time, and your watch quits. you got to be somewhere, and your car won't start. Right in the middle of a conversation, and the battery conks out on your cell phone. For every kind of battery. You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football, only on KDKZ Channel 18. Fred Dawkins, thank you very much. A beautiful night for football. The Black Cats are back home finally after a couple weeks being gone. Chuck Penuel alongside to call tonight's game. And Chuck, a few tough weeks on the road. Yeah, a few tough weeks. Glad to be home. Hope we can get a big win here. Uh, a, a tough fought ball game against the Maplewood Blue Devils, but a loss yet. And, uh, and then last week, a disappointing loss to St. Genevieve. Yeah, I had a big lead uh, at halftime and uh, come out and uh, got a hand it to us. We really did. Uh, t really took it to them right from the opening kickoff. Led at halftime, 21 to seven, and then was outscored 43 to eight. So, uh, not the way uh, Coach Shannon Henson drew it up, but uh, it is what it is, and we got to look forward to tonight's game. A two and six New Madrid County Central team. What can we expect out of them tonight? A uh, little speed. Everybody has speed. Going to spread it out. Uh, good. Usually have good athletes down there. Just probably need a little more experience. Uh, record not showing. You know exactly what they can do down there but and then the black hats looking to rebound from a loss last week uh we get a little healthier this week a little healthier james royer's going to be back and uh when we can get one more back before districts we'll be looking pretty good this is a a district game as chuck said and a very important game and there are some other games around the league tonight and uh run those down for us tonight uh, we got potosi over at north county uh central and dexter uh, Lutheran South and Hillsboro, Maplewood and Cardinal Ritter, DeSoto at St. Genevieve, Perryville at Windsor, and Festus at St. Charles West. Should be should be some pretty interesting games, and uh, we hate to look too, wait we hate to look uh, too far ahead, but uh, that North County team is playing some ball. They are playing very good ball. They kind of bought into the system up there, I believe. That's you know that's an important game for us. We really need to win that game next week. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, get the district gonna, seedings. So. It's going to be a tough matchup as they're putting a lot of points on the board. Coach McDowell's got them playing pretty well. Yeah, you want to stay at least in the second, third seed. St. Jen's probably going to win the first seed, but you want to not have to go to them right off the bat. That coming out of districts, you know, you want to want to play a game or two before you have to go over to St. Genevieve. We hate to look too far ahead, but it, the way it lays out right now. Chances are we'll be playing this team right here again, we could, again in the playoffs. We can see this team or our decks or either one. It's going to, you know, the way it falls, but uh, we probably see this team again. You know, there's one other kind of important game going on tonight. What do you think about that game tonight? Uh, we got a chance? We always got a chance. I mean, uh, that's why they play the game. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals in Washington to take on the Nationals. Game five of the uh, league series and should be a very interesting matchup. I thought we had some good opportunities to close it out last night and missed out on that. And they got the race going for them tonight. And that's two games. We probably should have had a chance to win the first one, too. And uh, 
don't take advantage of those opportunities could come back to hunt and bite you. Fall is finally here. Time to hit the outdoors and Ward's Farm Center has got you covered. They've got muck boots to keep you warm and cozy, food plot mixes, lime, fertilizer, spreaders, and drag harrows. Ward's Farm Center is also your full line big game headquarters with ladder stands, hang on stands, and ground blinds including the all new VS360, the biggest and baddest ground blind in the industry today. And all the accessories you'll need for a successful hunting season. They're all at Ward's Farm Center in Fredericktown. Check them out today or give them a call at 783-3100. And welcome back to Frederick King, Fredericktown <laughs> High School for tonight's game between the New Madrid County Central Eagles and your Fredericktown Blackheads. Looks like we just had the to coin toss. What happened there? Looks like we won the toss and deferred to the second half. The Black Cats will go right to left on your radio dial. Just about set to go. It should be a very interesting matchup here tonight. A beautiful night for football, so sit back and relax and enjoy the game on AM 1450 and 103.9 The Mix. And KDKZ, Channel 18, our producer, Mr. Freddie Dawkins, Jr., with us tonight, uh, handling the switching of the cameras and everything and producing the game, does a fine job with that. Matt Dawkins will be down on the field for us tonight, getting you some sideline shot. And the newcomer, Mr. Matt Benz, working the wide-angle lens tonight, and we appreciate everyone's help to bring you Fredericktown Black Cat football each and every Friday night. Just about set to go here as the Black Cats break the huddle and head for the field. Ty Burks will tee it up at his own 40-yard line. Sit back and enjoy a good game. It should be interesting. Where's your pink at, Dave? It is pink. Uh, it is Breast Care, Aware Breast Care Awareness Week, so uh, a lot of pink out here on the field, and You'll see that throughout the night as our crackpot crew will uh, highlight that. And the, the, the marching band, the cheerleaders, everybody had pink on tonight. A lot of pink here in the, in the uh, crowd. A lot of pink. I got my pink on. You do? Where is it? Look right here. Oh. <laughs> Ty Burke set to tee it up as number 10. McKeel Walker. And a T.J. Clark. And T.J. Clark will be back to take this kickoff. Whistle blows. Ty Burke set to get into this one. And ball in the air, and we are underway. Line drive. T.J. Oh. Clark takes it at the 15. Picks it up, steps across the 20, and slides backwards. It's tackled by Jake Garokas. The Eagles will take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line as the up man bobbled that ball and then Clark was able to pick it up and gain just a couple yards. He didn't get no hype on that, but, man, that was a line-drive knuckleball. <laughs> the up man tried to field it, went right through his hands, right to Clark. He picked it up, gained about three yards, five yards maybe, and first and ten Eagles. They break the huddle here. Look at that tailback. Big. That's Deshaun the quarterback. Mc McDaniels. It is the quarterback, but hands to the tailback, tries to go straight ahead, nothing doing. <laughs> Nathan Black Allgaier met in. him right in the hole. Good start for Nathan Allgaier as he gets his first tackle on the first play of the game. And we are underway here, 11.43 to go first quarter. Eagles with their first possession. Two wide receivers set, one, one man in the backfield, one wide receiver to the far side. Black Cats jump and a flag comes in. It's going to be offsides, I'm sure, against the Black Cats. Looks like we're running a little different. We've got a 4-3 defense in there. Now i got Crocus up there playing linebacker. Jay Sean McDaniels is your quarterback here for the Eagles tonight. March at five yards against the Black Cats on an offside, so it'll be second down and seven. Eagles break the huddle again. Two wide receivers to the near side. McDaniel in the shotgun. Here comes the blitz. Fakes the handoff. Now he's going to try to run to the near side. F breaks a tackle. Sidesteps a man at the 30 to the 35. Still on his feet. Gets out to the 37. Brought down there. Good run by McDaniels. He yeah. danced through several defenders there. Good block on Sawyer there. The wide receiver kind of just stood his ground. And uh, quarterback cut right off his butt and uh, picked up a good yard. Sealed Sawyer off. McDaniels is a big kid. 6'1", 200 pounds. He looks taller than that out there amongst <laughs> the some of those other guys. The back must not be very big. In the shotgun, hands off to the tailback. Gets across the 35, out to the 37. Get back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second down and 10. <laughs> Riley Smith on the, on the carry, a gain of nothing. That's a freshman. Second and 10. 5-5 five, five and 6-1, they look like. <laughs> you can tell it.
Now the Eagles look for the play from the sideline. They go two wide, three wide receivers to the far side, one to the near side. McDaniel in the shotgun. James Royer, here he comes. Looks to the far side, throws a screen. He dropped it. That ball's live. Sawyer's all over it, and it goes out of bounds. Tough break for the Blackheads. Justin Sawyer was right there, and that was a backward pass, so that could have been Blackheads' ball. They'll march it back all the way to the 20. Yeah, lost about 12 yards on it. The 20, right on the 25-yard line, so that would have been a lateral and a live ball, but the ball went out of bounds, so a, a big loss for them. It's going to bring up a third down and 20 for the Eagles. Good start for the Black Hits. Yeah. Hold them here, and you get good field position. James Royer back in the lineup tonight at the linebacker position. Come three wide receivers to the near side, one to the far side. McDaniel in the shotgun again. Takes a snap, rolls to the near side, looking, looking down the field. Heaves it way down the field. Sawyer right there, and there's contact at the 40-yard line and no flag. <laughs> Could have been offensive if it was catchable. The ball was intended for number 40, Damon Gillespie, incomplete. Bring up a fourth down, a punting situation that is fourth and 20. Sawyer drops back to his own 45 and now back to his 40-yard line to receive this punt here. He heaved that, baby. He really did. He's a big kid, 6'1", 200, and among some of these younger ball players out here, he looks like a giant. Punter stands back at his own 10-yard line, and a flag comes in. See what that's all about. Not sure what that one was. It's either illegal substitution or illegal shift. I didn't see anyone move, so someone must have come into the huddle late, yeah, come in and now he's, now he's leaving. Number six, McClintock. Is that six back there ready to punt? I believe it is. Now McClintock backs up to his 10-yard line again. As he set, awaits for the snap here. Sawyer back at his own 40-yard line. McClintock, left Ooh. footer, steps into it. it gets off him. a decent kick to the 45. Bounces inside Black Hat territory. Sawyer will let it bounce there, and the Eagles will down it. Sherman Taylor will down it at the 45-yard line. Black Hats take over first and 10 there. So pretty good starting position there for the Black Hats on their first series. Yeah, Black Hats kind of went after him. He got a good punt for many people he had in the space. It's good to see James Royer back in the backfield here as we go two wide receivers to each side. <clears throat> Grimminger in the shotgun with Royer. Wait for the referee's whistle here, and we're set to go. Looks like we've got Chris Philly starting out here. At Chris Philly in the slot here instead of Proffer. Fake the handoff. Grimminger going to keep it. Steps across 45 to midfield. Still on his feet. Gets out to the Eagles 45-yard line. A gain of nine. It'll be second down and one. Ball spotted on the 45-yard line. <clears throat> What's your uh, prediction for tonight's game in Washington? Uh, Not your heart. <laughs> your if prediction. We, if we score four runs, we win. Four wide receivers set again. Grimminger takes it off the ground. Now he looks down the field looking, still looking for Sawyer. And he Ooh, drops, drops it at the forty at the 32-yard line, incomplete. Sawyer had man coverage out there. 15, Cortland Shannon. Good pass, good tight spiral on that thing. Right, right in the Defender there, stride for stride, but Sawyer had an opportunity to catch that ball. Falls incomplete. It's going to bring up a third down and one. Still in the shotgun. Four wide receivers set again. Griminger on the keeper. Goes nowhere. Going to actually lose a couple yards. Still on his feet, though. Still fighting, still driving. He's going to, they're going to spot it back at the line of scrimmage, so it's going to be fourth down and one, and not the way you'd like to get started here. Yeah, good second effort just to get back to the line of scrimmage there. About five Eagles had him wrapped up there, and Griminger kept driving and kept going forward, and he got back to the original line of scrimmage, but nothing else. James Royer has not handled the ball yet. Four wide receivers set again. Griminger again in the shotgun. Hard count. Try to draw him offside. Doesn't work. They're coming. Linebackers keep creeping up. Now here comes the corner. As they switch it up, they're going to drive Grimminger on the keeper. Breaks it to the 40, to the 35. Gets all the way down to the 31-yard line. Good run that time as Grimminger went off a right tackle for a big gain. First down, Blackheads. It's like the 
turf monster got him there. I didn't see anybody tackling. A gain of 15. First down, Black Cats are spotted at the 32-yard line of the Eagles. They brought both linebackers and a corner that time. Here comes Sawyer to the near side. Royer still in the shotgun again with Griminger. Griminger on a keeper again. Drives straight ahead to the 30. Gets down to the 29. A gain of a couple. Haven't seen Royer handle the ball yet. Is that Philly comes out. Here comes Proffer into the game now. I was wondering where he was. He'll line up to the near side with two other wide receivers, Sawyer and Karokas. Four James Royer in again. They come forward to the near side now. Grimminger in the shotgun. Going to hand off to Royer. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Breaks it to the outside to the 25. Drives forward. Still on his feet to the 20. Going to spot that just outside the 20-yard line. Good, good run there for Royer. Royer. Looks like he feels pretty good so far. <laughs> yeah, he didn't look for nobody to run away for. He was looking for somebody to hit. <laughs> if, if we're going to go very far in the playoffs, we're going to need that guy. And we, we could sure use Reed Roberts if he can get healthy and, and uh, get back in here for the playoffs. Yeah, even defensively, it helps us out a linebacker there. Tyler Reed comes to the near side. Three wide receivers to the far side. Griminger takes it, fakes it, looks out to Sawyer on the far side. Ooh. Hit hard at the line of scrimmage. Number he may have gained a half a yard. Antoine Walton. Good play by the defender, Antoine Walton, that time. They were ready for that I little think quick that little slip film, pass. Maybe. Everybody has. Still seems to be working, though. Now Tyler Reed goes to the far side. Three wide receivers come to the near side. Proffers in the slot. Now Reed spreads it wider. Griminger in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Back to pass. Looking down the field. Got a man wide open. Karokas. Touchdown. A breakdown in the coverage there as Karokas went straight down the middle. Griminger hit him at the five, and he walked into the end zone untouched. Yeah, I think number number 10 there, Walker, I believe he slipped a little bit and uh, left Karokas wide open down the middle for a good pass and a touchdown. Good drive for the Black Hits there as they stalled on that third down and were able to pick up 15 after that and get a first down, and then they moved it easily into the end zone. Ty Burke set to attempt the extra point here. Snap back, ball down, kick Ooh, is blocked. blocked, no good. 7.15 to go first quarter. Black Cats take the lead. They lead 6 nothing. We'll be back in 30 seconds on KDKZ Channel 18. Next time you need quality gas and convenience items, pull into your Murphy's USA location in Fredericktown and Deloge. They have great quality gasoline, and they always save you more. Plus, they offer other convenience items to get you on the road quickly. Murphy's USA would like to take this time to thank you for your business and loyalty. Murphy's USA at the Fredericktown and Deloge Walmart locations in southeast Missouri. How far was it? Black Cat strike first. They lead extra point no good. They lead 7.15 to go. They lead 6 nothing as Ty Burke set to kick it off to the Eagles. Uh, 21. 82, Ty Burke set to kick it off. Number one, DJ Clark. And 10, Michael Walker. Back Clark and seven. Walker stand back at their 10-yard line waiting for the kickoff. Ty Burke's a pooch kick. Oh. Ball bounces at the 35, taken there by number 30. Charles Taylor, he goes to the ground immediately. They'll spawn it at the 37. Eagles take over first and 10 there. That's a little floater, wasn't it? Mix it up a little bit. He tried that a few times last week, too, and same results. As soon as those up men get it, all they know is get to the ground. The last thing they want to do is put it on the ground. Hopefully you can get one of them up men that don't have very good hands. <laughs> 7-13, that's why they get to the yeah. ground. 7-13 to go, first quarter. Black hat strike first. They lead 6 nothing. Eagles go four wide receiver set. Quarterback takes a snap. He's straight back to pack. Looks out to the near side. Hit his receiver in the pads. Attempted for Damian Gillespie. Pass incomplete. Bring up a second down. That was a bullet. Yeah, Royer, he, he blitzed on that hard. He was all over him. Quarterback had to get rid of it in a hurry. McDaniels was looking to the near side the whole way. Had Sawyer right in his face. Threw a bullet out here to number 40, Gillespie, and he was unable to hang on to it. Ball popped up in the air, but no black cats around. Eagles break the huddle now. Four wide receivers set. McDaniel alone in the backfield. 
Oh, he's got one tailback back there. Here come the Black Cats. Ball's on the ground, and McDaniels goes down. Ooh. He's hit at the 31-yard line, a loss of a couple. Yeah. He's going to bring up a third down. and Try to pick it up with his knee on the ground. Third down and 15. No, no in high school. Going backwards again, and this is the kind of thing that Pick, Coach Pixley and I talked about. They just can't get any rhythm going. They've got some the guys that don't, some guys that haven't had a lot of playing time, and uh, the rhythm just isn't there for them. They hope to get things going right to ship these last two weeks before they go into the playoffs. Four wide receivers set again, two to each side. Here come here come the Black Cats. Fake the handoff. Look straight down the middle. Got a man across the middle. Overthrows him. Damian Gillespie at midfield overthrew him by five yards. Justin Sawyer there on the coverage, and the Eagles will have to punt again. Yeah, good co coverage by Sawyer, too. He's right where they're with him. From their own 31-yard line. Corey Guest back to kick. He's going to stand at his own 18-yard line. Should be good field position again as Sawyer stands at his own 30. Punter waits, waits for the snap. Now he takes it. The left footer steps into it. Gets off a good kick this time. Ball going to bounce at the 38. Take a Eagles bounce. Get down inside the 35. They'll down it at the 33. Black Cats will take over there. First and 10. They lead this ball game 6 to nothing early. 6-17 to go first quarter. Good first drive for the Black Cats. Yeah, let's do it again. Get a big lead. and uh, Maybe by a little after half we can get some of them guys and keep them, keep them healthy. And get get some of them clean shirts in there. That's right. Black Hats break the huddle. Tyler Reed, Zach Proffer come to the near side. Two wide receivers to the far side. Griminger in a shotgun again. Takes a snap. Going to hand off to Royer straight ahead. Drives forward for a couple. Gets out to the 35-yard line. It's going to be just short of the 35. They'll spot it at the 34. A gain of one. Second down and nine. Key thing with games like this is hang on to the ball. No, no turnovers. Can't give them nothing. Make Put, them earn everything. Putting Royer back in the game instead of Caleb Carver. Not that he didn't do a pretty good job last year, but it adds another threat, an eight, another true uh, fullback back there. Yeah. Somebody else you have to contain. Now Karokas comes to the near side with Sawyer and Proffer. One wide receiver to the far side. Griminger takes a shotgun. Rolls to the near side. Looking for a man. Has Proffer and overthrows him at the 40-yard line. There stride for stride was Antoine Walter on the coverage, Walton, check it, incomplete is going to bring up a third down and seven from the 41-yard line. Need to convert here. 534 to go first quarter. Black Hats lead 6-0. Two wide receivers to the near side. Fakes the handoff to Royer goes straight back now, flushed out of the pocket. Looks for a man down the oh. field, overthrows Tyler Reed at the 45-yard line, incomplete. It's going to bring up a fourth down and eight, and the Black Cats will have to punt as Austin Smith goes back to punt, standing at his own 23-yard line. Yeah, not a good set of downs. No rhythm the there. You know, against, against Maplewood, um, Griminger looked like he was just a tad off and not comfortable back there, and it looks... We need to get him hit a few more times here so he gets gets in the rhythm of the game. Now a flag comes in as Austin Smith starts to punt the ball. Minimize that and then go up and open that. See what the flag's going to be. Yeah. Referees say offsides against the Eagles and a terrible mistake. Going to march it back five. And now you think about maybe going far here. It's going to be fourth down and three now. And the Black Hats will still punt. They'll move it up five yards. Austin Smith stands at his 26 now. Takes a snap. Steps in. It gets a good high good. kickoff. Oh, good punt. Good punt. Ball going to bounce at the 30. Mm. Goes sideways to the 28. Black Hats down it there. Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. What did you do, Led? <laughs> Five nineteen to go, first quarter. Black Cats lead six nothing. Eagles take over first and ten at their own twenty eight yard line. Other games around the league. We'll check the ticker here in a little bit as they get underway. Farmington Knights 
taking on Viani here this evening and a whole bunch of other games around the league tonight. Click on that and see if it reloaded. <laughs> computer having, malfunction. Having some computer malfunction here. My my <laughs> IT guy is uh, slipping on me here tonight. What's it say there? Nope, it's good. Hand off to the tailback. It's back to the line of scrimmage. Now he's thrown backwards as Austin Smith wrapped him up there. Going to be a loss of two. Going to bring up a second down and 12. Tailback 22, Riley Smith on the carry. Goes nowhere. Actually loses two. It's going to bring up a second down and 12. Your computer thinks about as fast as I do, Dave. Mm -hmm. Take a break. I'll get it right. <laughs> now McDaniels in the shotgun. Four wide receiver set again. He's got a tailback in the backfield with him. Takes a snap. Drops straight back to pass. Screen. Looking for the screen. There Whoa. it is. And he almost. <laughs> we had that red. We were just waiting to see which one he was going to intercept it. Incomplete to Devon <laughs> Harrell. You can see the screen developing. And the Black Hats were all over it as they pressured the quarterback and had the screen covered. So it's going to bring up a third down and 12. And the Eagles, absolutely nothing going here early in this game. Break the huddle, go three wide receivers to the far side. Clark and Walker over there. McDaniels in the shotgun again. Now he takes a snap. Here comes the blitz. He rolls away from it to the far side. Still on his feet. Good athlete, good speed. He tucks it and runs. Going to gain part of it. Still on his oh. feet. First down and more as he gets out to the 45-yard line. McDaniels broke a tackle at yeah. the 35. Nathan had a clean shot. Algar had a clean shot at him. Thought if nothing else, he was going to drive him out of bounds. And looked like he lost his shoe and still went down the sideline. He's, yeah, he's over there putting his shoe back on. He's a big kid, and he tucked his head at the 40-yard line. Gets all the way out to the 45. Moved the chains. Good play for the Eagles. There's a broken play there as they flushed him out of the pocket to the far side. And the, he outran the containment over there and was able to turn it up the sidelines. Gets out to the 45. First and 10 Eagles. 4.22 to go first quarter. Now the Eagles come three wide receivers to the near side. Daniel in the shotgun again. Takes a snap. He's going to roll to the near side. Looking for a man. He's got the screen but Look doesn't out. want it. Getting tracked from behind and down he goes. Brian Fingers. 57, Brian Fingers running down from the far side. Good defense by the Black Cats. Good pursuit. The good thing he had a little six cents about him because he was fired to get crushed there. Going to lose seven on the play. Going to be second down and 17. Good play by Fingers. He came from the far side of the field and kept pursuing until he ran him down. There was really no place for him to go and he waiting for a hold open and nothing doing. Now they come two wide receivers set to the near side, two to the far side. McDaniel in the shotgun again. Takes a snap. Looks, 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 still looks. Mm. Throw, heaves it down the field. Got a man there, Patrick Klein there on the coverage. Ball oh. goes through Klein's <laughs> hands into the hands of the receiver. And he couldn't hang on. 88. Devon Harrell there. He's yeah. a big tall kid. The way Patrick Klein went up in front of him, you thought he would have knocked it down, but it got through Klein. He missed yeah. it and hit his receiver right in the hand. 6'3". And he was unable to hang on. Klein was there all the way, but it went right through his hands and hit the guy right in the chest. I don't think he expected it to come through. The 6'3 senior unha unable to hang on, so it's going to bring up a third down and 17 from the 39-yard line. Eagles break the huddle again. They go two wide receivers to each side. McDaniel has one man in the backfield again. Looks it over. Now he takes a snap. Drops straight to that. Packs the screen again. There it is. To the tailback. To the 40. Breaks a tackle to the 45. Gets most of it back. Gets out to the 48-yard line. It's going to bring up a fourth down and manageable now compared to where they were. Fourth down and seven. But it looks like they still will punt. Good run that time by Corey Guest. They kind of have a swing pass. They tried to sub the screen, but a lot of their linemen didn't get out there that time, but he made a good play out of it. Guest stands back at his own 35, awaits the snap. Now the lefty kicks, steps into it. 
Gets a good kickoff. Ball bounces at the 25. Sawyer picks it up at the 18. Dives forward to the 21. Dangerous play there as three Eagles were right there. Sawyer. Kind of wish he'd step up a little closer. That guy's not punting him too far and catch that thing on the fly. And he said that's been the case most of the year. You know, he's let a lot of balls bounce and not been able to receive them. I'd step up and let it kick it. If it kick it over my head, I'd just let it bounce. Yep, let it go. Yep. Blackheads now with a four wide receiver set. Royer in the backfield with Griminger again in the shotgun. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Now on a keeper, drives straight ahead, gets across the line of scrimmage. Still on his feet, gets out to the 24. Gain of a couple. It's going to bring up a second down and eight. Gain of two. Some tough running there, some tough yardage. Clayton on the tackle. He's a big kid, too. 5'10", 240. Grimminger in the shotgun again. They go four wide receivers to the far side. Now Royer switches sides with Grimminger. Takes a snap. Going to keep it straight ahead. Gets to the line of scrimmage driving forward. Gain of a couple. They stop him there. Five Eagles there to stop him. Sherman Taylor along with others. At 54 up there on the line. 6'3", sophomore. That's Grayson York. Grayson York. Big kid. Grimminger in the shotgun again. They go four wide receiver set again. Look for Grimminger to keep it, and he does. Gets to the line of simmerage, breaks oh, a tackle to the 40, to the 50, to the 45, 40, 30, 20. It's a foot race. Can they catch him? And they do knock him down. He falls oh. down at the two-yard line. Steven Settles made a great block out there, and Grimminger cut right off of it. Antoine Walton able to bring him down. Hit him at the 10. He dove forward to about the 3. It's going to be first and 10, first and goal, Black Hats. Good play by Griminger. Yeah, got a little hitch in his get up there. He's had that before. He'll shake it off. <laughs> play by Griminger as he broke it off a left tackle and got out here to the sideline. And it was a foot race, and he looked like he ran out of wind there at the 10. Now in the shotgun again. Griminger takes a snap, rolls back, looks to the far side for Sawyer, almost intercepted there. Yeah, it didn't look like he couldn't play off that back foot real good. At the three-yard line, Corey Guest there, the defensive back covering Sawyer, and he stepped in front of that. If it had been up, up another foot, he might have went to the house. A little interference here. Grimminger in the shotgun again. Takes a snap, going to keep it straight ahead. Sidesteps a man, dives. Touchdown, Black Hats. Jeremy Griminger, three-yard strike. Black Hats strike again. 109 to go first quarter. They now lead 12 to nothing as we await the extra point. Good play by Griminger that time. Just waited for it to open up and then sidestepped a man and dove into the end zone. Well, trying to decide if they're going to go for two or go for one here. Try to get that point back they lost on the extra point. Yeah, they're going to go for one. Ty Burks in to attempt the extra point here. Griminger will hold. Snap back. They fake it. Now Griminger throws to the end zone. Nick. Touchdown. Is that Nick Ortel? Nick Ortel, yep. Nick Ortel lined up as a tight end there, and he just side stepped off the line of scrimmage there into the end zone. Eagles went for the extra point fake the whole way, and Griminger just lofted it over into the end zone. Touchdown. Two-point conversion, good. They now lead 14 to nothing with 109 to go first quarter. Got that block kick, blocked uh, extra point back. Yeah, it was a good little play there. Every point counts. We'll keep it right here as the Black Hats get ready to break the huddle with 109 to go first quarter. What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> Let's I see tried here. that. <laughs> a little technical difficulties here as we try to get back online here so we can get you some updates real quick. Ty Burke set to kick it off at his own 40-yard line. Yeah, come on, technical guy. There's our producer comes in to <laughs> lend a hand. Two men standing back at their own five. Ty Burks kicks it to the 20. Taken there across the 25 to the 30. Breaks a tackle. Gets out to the 33. Eagles take over there first and 10. 
Good, ran, good run by the Eagles that time, Damian Gillespie. Ben Trusco on the tackle there on the kickoff. Out to the 33-yard line. Eagles take over first and 10 there. Little Ben Trusco. There we go. That's why you're the producer, Freddie yeah. Dawkins, Jr. Yeah, where you been? That's why you make the big bucks. <laughs> Fred Dawkins back at the radio station working the board for us tonight. Freddie Dawkins, Jr., our producer, and Matt Dawkins down on the field getting you some close-ups. And Mr. Matt Benz, the new guy. We'll call him the newbie here tonight. <laughs> He's got a radio voice. Yes, he does. He's got a deep voice. <laughs> yeah. Puts a man in motion here. Now he takes the handoff. Going to hand off to the far side. Tries to turn the corner. Slips and falls. Gets out to the 40-yard line. Good run by the tight end that time, Damian Gillespie. That's probably the best run they had. Man. Brought him on the end around there. Hand off to him. Turned a corner. Gain of seven. Be second down and three. Clock continues to run in under a minute here. 40 seconds to go first quarter. Should be the last play of the quarter here. McDaniel in the shotgun again. He goes four wide receivers set again. They'll probably put a guy in motion here again. And they do. Fakes the handoff. Trap back across the middle. Dives forward. Still on his feet. Good drive by the tailback that time. Drew Picky. It's going to be just short of a first down as the clock continues to run inside 15 seconds to go first quarter and that's going to do it for the first quarter all black hats so far they lead 14 nothing we'll take a one minute timeout and be back with the second quarter on kdkz channel 18 Rates are at an all-time low, and now is the time to refinance. First State Community Bank offers fixed-rate home financing for terms up to 30 years. And with a fixed-rate mortgage, your monthly payment and interest rate will remain constant for the life of your loan. Get access to equity in your home or lower your monthly payment. Contact First State Community Bank today and ask about a fixed-rate mortgage. First State Community Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Apply for your fixed-rate loan at fscb.com. You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football only on KDKZ Channel 18. After one on KDKZ Channel 18, all Black Cats, they lead 14 to nothing as we get set to start the second quarter here. Got a few updates from around the league for you. Not much, not much. Dexter's leading Central 7 0. Farmington, Vienna 7 7. Hillsboro 7. Lutheran South 0. Maplewood and Cardinal Renter are tied at zero. St. Jim 7, DeSoto 0. Perryville and Windsor are knotted up zero. That's about it. Set to go as McDaniels in the shotgun, hands to the tailback. Now he's going to keep it, pulls it back out. Play. Breaks the line of scrimmage, gets out to the midfield, gets inside midfield to the Blackhead territory, down to the 48-yard line. Good run that time by yep. the quarterback, Jashawn McDaniels. Good fake. Held it in there a long time. Made the outside guy commit to him and then uh, kept it and went around the corner. Blackheads had a lot of trouble with that last week with St. Genevieve, but even more trouble with Maplewood two weeks ago. Yeah, second half, uh, St. Gen really uh, sucked, our in, sucked us in on the inside and uh, kind of pinned us in, really, and uh, cut around the outside on us. They hold that in the tailback's gut, and he kind of runs with him, and then he decides what he sees whether he pulls it out or gives it to him. Now McDaniel's going to keep it. Ooh, now pitches forward to the man in motion there. Check his number, number four, Malik Stevenson. Looks like he was lined up as a, as a tight end or something or, or a wide receiver in the slot that time, and he just came across the line of scrimmage, and McDaniel's pitched it forward to him and kind of a dangerous play if there you, that's an incomplete pass though if it's not it's not that's not that's a forward pass so that's not too too bad and if you can run that out a little farther that gives you a triple option you got the outside the inside and the guy with the ball oh it's nathan all guy i'd like to see you pitch that right in his hands here <laughs> now mcdaniel's in the shotgun again he goes three four wide receiver set three to the far side rolls to the far side looking for a man caught at the 45 gets a couple more out to the 43 He's going to bring up a good pass there. Good pass there. He rolled out there, made a real tight spiral. Ooh. Hello. Okay. Okay, producer. Now we really got technical <laughs> We'll see about that. We'll fix that. Ooh. Now we got it. We got it. <coughs> Eagles break the huddle again. It's it. Yeah, you're going to have to get fast. <laughs> <laughs> 
four wide receiver set again. McDaniels in the shotgun, drops straight back, looks to the far oh, side and dropped, dropped at it. the 40-yard line. Had the receiver number 11, Jimmy Caldwell, at the 40-yard line. Would have been short of a first down, but it would have been manageable too. Instead, it's fourth and five, and the Eagles will punt as Corey Guest drops back to his 45-yard line. Tough break there. Might not have got it, but it would have been just a yard or two. Would have right. been manageable at midfield. You could have went for it, but not, not fourth and five. I actually think he ended up catching it, but I think he ended up out of bounds before Sawyer he Sawyer back it. at his 10-yard line. The punter steps into it. Good kick there, and Sawyer's going to let it bounce. Oh, man, it almost hit At the hit 20, it. take a Eagles bounce down to the 15. See where they spot it on the far side of the ball. Went out of bounds. They'll spot it inside the 10 at the 9. Black Cats take over there, first and 10. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a plan deal or not, but they really need to scoot Sawyer up and keep that ball from bouncing and rolling. It seems like extra every, 10 yards. every time it bounces, it takes an opponent's bounce, and, yep. and we lose another 10. Even if you fair catch it, step up and right. take it. Black Hats take over there, first and 10. Three wide receivers to the far side. Now a man comes in motion proper. They hand off of him. He tries to turn the corner. Now he steps inside, breaks a tackle, gets out to the 15. Good hard run. Cut inside his block. Got going north and south finally. Taken down there by Sherman Taylor. That'll be close to a first down, though. Two yards Say short. Second down and two, so a gain of eight for Proffer. Set him up in the slot to the far side, bring him in motion, handoff, turn the corner. Made a good move to stop and, and cut it back inside. Now Sawyer in motion, handoff to Royer. Oh, he breaks it go. to the 40, to the, to the 50. One man to beat to the 40, to the 35, and down he goes to the 33-yard line. Antoine Walton again there to run him down. And the speedster Walton kept Royer from scoring again. Royer sucking win there. Eagles will take a timeout here as they try to regroup with 9.14 to go second quarter. We'll take a 30-second timeout and be more, back with more Black Cat football on KDKZ Channel 18. Wayno's in Fredericktown is heating things up with the best seafood anywhere. Boiled shrimp and crab legs are available all the time at Wayno's. Wayno's has great oysters on the half shell too. Call for availability and gumbo is always available at Wayno's. Want to try something different? How about gator tail? And Wayno's is the best place to get a variety of pool boys. Try their seafood combo platter too. Fish, alligator, frog legs, calamari, scallops. Oh, it's so good. Wayno's in Fredericktown on the Courthouse Square. You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football, only on KDKZ Channel 18. A big thanks to our sponsors here tonight, Madison Medical Center, First State Community Bank, Benning Ford, Covenant Care Services, Barrett Jensen Chevrolet, Murphy USA, Ward's Farm Center, Ellis Battery, Farm Bureau Insurance with agents Keith Roach and Ranson Bradford, Vance Vineyards and Winery, the Dog and Suds of Cherokee Pass, and check, please, of Farmington and Poplar Bluff. Just about set to go here as he coming out of an Eagles timeout. Black Cats first and 10. Griminger in the shotgun again. Now he puts Sawyer in motion. Going to keep it. Try to run straight ahead. Now he bounces to the outside, breaks a man, sidesteps a man, and gets down to the 20-yard line. Going to get inside the 20 to about the 18. Good, rid, good run by Griminger. Got a score for you, Dave. Yankees three, Baltimore one. Fire. Ooh, I was kind of rooting for the for the Baltimore on that one. So was I. So Steve. the Yankees move on to the next round against the Detroit. Is that game over? Tigers. Yep. Steven Settle, the right tackle, they sealed that off for Griminger to get around to the outside. Good play by him. Now Griminger looks down oh, the middle. Open again. Overthrows Karokas in the end zone. He kind had him, and Griminger knows it. Kind of rushed it there. You know, he kind of bobbled the snap and thought he had to hurry more, and he did. Griminger lined time. up as a Karokas lined up as a wide receiver on the far side. Just went down to the five and cut it inside. Stepped inside the end zone, and Griminger just barely overthrew him. It's a good effort by Karokas as, as he dove for it at the goal line, unable to hang on. Going to bring up a second and ten. Now Karokas comes to the near side with Sawyer. Now they put Sawyer in motion. Hand off to James Royer straight ahead. Going to gain one, maybe two. 
tough running in there. Yeah, good tackle by Timothy Clayton on that one. Got to play real good. And Adam Cooksey also there on the assist tackle. It's going to be a third and nine. Black Hats. Now they go four wide receivers set to the far side. Reed, Proffer, Karokas, and Sawyer. Griminger takes a snap. Now he's going to keep it. Tries to go off the left side. Now goes back up the middle. Sidestep the man. Oh, Gets to fumble. the five. Fumble. Eagles may have it, and they, they do. do, I believe. Steven Settle was there at the two, but he was unable to hang on. Kind of come from behind and kind of punched it out from behind on him and uh, punched it forward and uh, recovered it by New Madrid at the two yard. I believe it was number one, T.J. Clark, there to recover that ball at the two, and Griminger was looking for the end zone and uh, didn't have that ball secure, and it was punched out from behind. Big break for the Eagles with 8.19 to go second quarter. They dodge a bullet and take over at their own two. We had a safety yet this year? Then? Hmm, I don't think we have. Now's the time. Let's do it. Smart move by McDaniels. He steps under center now, so he won't be in the end zone. Man comes him. in motion. Now trap to number 10. He breaks the tackle and gets out to about the four. It's close. McKeel Walker lined up as the man in the slot there. Wide receiver to the near side came in motion. They hand it off to him. Now the... Eagles will take another timeout with 8.07 to go. Second quarter, Black Hats lead 14 0. We'll take a 30 second timeout and be back with more Black Hat football on KDKZ Channel 18. Are you wanting a peaceful getaway featuring wonderful entrees? Then Vance Vineyards and the Twisting V Grill, east of Fredericktown, is your destination. The Twisting V Grill is featuring two for $22 menu items every Wednesday. Choose from meatloaf, blackened tilapia with Cajun cream sauce, buttered pork chops, smothered chicken with bacon, or chopped steak with mushrooms with caramelized onions and gravy, plus award-winning wines and a setting so peaceful and tranquil. It's like no other in the area. Open Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday from 11 to 8, Fridays and Saturdays from 11 to 9, and Sundays 11 to 4. Visit Vance Vineyards and the Twisting V Grill east of Fredericktown. You're watching Fredericktown Black Hats football, only on KDKZ Channel 18. Two very good pitchers set to get underway in Washington as Gonzalez and Wainwright hook it up tonight for Game 5 of the Division Series. Winner moves on and takes on the Giants, and that whoever wins that, that'll be an interesting matchup. Giants uh, really came alive. I, I looked for Cincinnati to, to win that, and Giants took it from them. Kind of a strange series. Cincinnati went to San Francisco, won both games. So, uh, Giants went out to Cincinnati, one on three, but uh, Cueto going down really hurt them. I, I almost wanted Cincinnati to win because Cueto can't play in the next series. That That's going to hurt Cincinnati if they would have moved on, but... Come back from the timeout. McDaniel hands off to the tailback. Gets just outside the goal lines. They almost had him there, and they're going to spot it at the one. Going to bring a loss on the play. Going to be third down and ten again as the man barely got out of the end zone there. Could have been your safety you were looking for. Yeah, last time we held him about a half a yard short. Third down and ten from the one. Eagles bring him in, in with the next play, and they break the huddle here. Going to stack it in pretty tight here as McDaniel's going to go under center with a tailback behind. Hand up, hand up straight ahead. I'm not sure what that's all about, but we got ready. We got a buzzing real bad. Gain of two. Going to get out to the three good now. It's going to be fourth down as the punter Corey Guest it's that phone and it keeps buzzing on it steps back <laughs> deep into his end zone here to take this snap try to try get it away Forder, Sawyer at the 35 <laughs> yard line takes a snap the lefty gets into it a, not a very good kick as it bounces at the 35 Sawyer going to let it go now he picks it up at the 36 it's out to the 30 to the 25 20 breaks a tackle to oh. the 15 still on his feet and down he goes inside the 10-yard line. They'll spot it at the 6. 
Sawyer started to let it go at the 35. It took a bounce, come right up in his hands at the 36. He broke a tackle at the 30, gets all the way down to the five-yard line. First and goal, Blackheads. Made, made a good, excuse me, good move on one, and uh, one tried to tackle him high and couldn't hang on and broke that tackle and picked up another 10 after that. Blackheads in the hurry-up offense, four wide receiver set. Griminger in the shotgun with Royer to his right. Here come the Eagles. Oh, he now had, a flag he, comes he in. He had to be off sides. He was through there before. Linebacker stepped up yeah. to the line of scrimmage, and he was coming on the blitz, trying to plug a hole, and he got there too soon. They'll march it back to the two, down to the two-and-a-half-yard line, first and goal there from the two-and-a-half. Hmm. 6.28 to go, second quarter. Griminger in the shotgun again. The four wide receivers set to the far side. And he hard counts again, and the Eagles are just not patient enough as they are offsides again. So we'll move it down to the one and a half. Can he score on that day? <laughs> uh -huh. Keep moving a half a yard? Uh, half no, I don't away. think so. We'll move it inch by inch, I guess. Now Proffer and Tyler Reed come out. So they'll go with the tight formation here. They'll put... Sawyer in the backfield with Royer, and Griminger will go under center with Karokas to the slot. Griminger keeper oh, steps into the end zone, another and another pick. flag comes out. That's going to be on us, probably. That was too easy for Griminger there. See what the flag's going to be about. Dead ball offsides oh, again. Them. And Coach Pixley has got to be getting terribly upset here with his defense as they are just He's too trying, anxious. Trying to find out what's going on down there. Now we're set to go again. Same formation. Now Royer joins Karokas to the far side in the tight formation. And Griminger runs off a left tackle into the end zone untouched. Touchdown. Too easy. 6.28 to go. Second quarter. Griminger on the keeper from the one. Walks into the end zone. Black Hats now lead 20-14 to 14 as Ty Burks comes on to attempt the extra point. Yeah, the play they ran before, he kind of cut inside them guys, and they kind of filled that hole, and then they sealed the outside, and he just walked in. Good play for, by the offensive line there as they had Royer and Karokas just off the tackles behind them, and they were able to seal off the line of scrimmage. Now Ty Burks attempts the extra point. It's up, and it is good. 6.28 to go, second quarter. Black Hat strike again. Extra point good. They lead 21 to nothing. We'll take a... 30-second timeout and be back with more Black Hat football on KDKZ Channel 18. At Check, Please in Farmington and Poplar Bluff, they have the money you need today. They offer competitive rates on title loans up to $5,000, and they do payday loans up to $500 for your convenience. Check, Please also buys scrap gold, silver, and coins. So stop by and see them today at Check, Please, open Monday through Saturday. In Farmington, call 747-0900, or in Poplar Bluff, call 785-8900. Check, Please, get the money you need today. You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football, only on KDKZ Channel 18. Ty Burke set to kick it up at the, tee it up at the 40-yard line here to kick to the Eagles. Two men back at the 10-yard line, and my partner here spots Patrick Klein on the sideline here with his pads off. We'll find out what that's all about. Ty Burks kicks it to the near side. Ball bounces at the 30. Ooh. Picked up there, and then he decides to go down. Number five, Daniel McCray. Couldn't handle it real well, so he just decided to hit the ground and take his losses here. 20, 24 yard line, first and 10 Eagles with 6.25 to go, first, first half. Personal foul against the Eagles. I didn't see that one. I think they might have hit a guy that was. Uh not needed, you know. I mean, what do you call that? He's defenseless. Defenseless. So they will march it back here. 15 yards. Going to put the Eagles in way back in their own territory inside the 10 to the 9, and they line up at the 20. You're like, where's the ball, guys? Yeah. Huh. Referee, the line judge had the ball and was marching off the penalty, and the Eagles broke the huddle, couldn't find the ball. It's back at the 9. Looked like the guy just went down and somebody popped one of our guys pretty hard after he'd already went down with the First ball. First and 10, Eagles. McDaniels in the shotgun, takes the hands off to number four in motion, drives forward, gets a couple. 
Malik Stevenson on the carry. Tried to turn the corner, nothing doing. Looks like Nathan Algar and uh, Royer on the tackle there. Eagles unable to get anything going here in the first half. Coach Pix is going to have to regroup at halftime and try to get his offense moving here. They break the huddle. He's trying different bodies back here. It's about the third guy he's had in the backfield. No gain, so it'll be second down and ten. McDaniel in the shotgun. Here comes the blitz. Royer. Now he runs to the near side, pitches to the tailback, gets out to the ten. A gain of one. It's going to be third down and nine. Good play there by the defense. Proffer and Nathan Allgaier yep. on the tackle. Hand off to Corey Guest. Get the quarterback, make him give it up so everybody can adjust and come up and make the play. Little option there. Third and nine. Good college try. 5-17 <laughs> to go. Second quarter. All Black Hats so far as they lead this ball game. 21 to nothing. McDaniels breaks the huddle. He's in the shotgun again. Four wide receiver set. Nothing doing for the Eagles so far in the first half. Now he takes a snap. Drops straight back to pass. Ooh. Looking and hit hard. Ball get comes loose. Karokas on, on a big hit there. Yeah, Let's they see what they an say. Incomplete pass. They will say incomplete, but McDaniels was hit hard, and he's mm -hmm. still down. Who was that? Did you see Jake Karokas on the hit. Catch a number on that license plate. Yeah. <laughs> now McDaniel does get up, but he's shaking. He was hit pretty hard there, and he kind of staggers off to the sideline with his head down. And Corey Guest will drop back in his end zone again to punt. And not the way you like the first half to go for the Eagles. 4.54 to go, second quarter. All Black Hats as they lead 21-0. Guest stands in his end zone, takes a snap. Sawyer back at his own 40. Gets off a good line drive kick to Sawyer at the 37. Slips and falls at the 34. Couldn't get his footing there at the 34-yard line. Black Cats will take over again, first and 10, inside Eagle territory at the 34-yard line. 4.47 to go in the first half. All Black Cats so far. I got a feeling you're going to see a lot of new jerseys in the second half as the clock will run. Especially if we can get another score here. Now Griminger puts four wide receivers to the far side. We've seen this several times. Royer goes out there, nobody in the backfield. Griminger quick out to Sawyer at the 40. Sidesteps a man to 35. Head tackled at the 37. Hangs on to the football. Gain of about four. It's going to bring up a second down and six. And they'll spot it at the 32-yard line. Sawyer got wrapped up by the head that time. Now the four wide receivers come to the near side. Royer back in the backfield with Griminger. Hands off to Royer straight ahead. Drives forward. Going to be close to a first down. Inside the 30. It's going to be short. Gain of about three. It's going to bring up a third down. And third and four. Four. Big long Long four. way across there. I thought they were at the 25 and they're out at the 29. Third down and four. Griminger on the keeper. Oh. Bobbles it. Now he hangs on to it. Turns it off the right side. Goes oh. down. Smart move there. Gets down to the 25. He's going to be just short of the first down. Good play by Griminger as he got what he could and then got to the ground and avoided the hit. Eyeballing it up here. Let's see if he got a first down. It's going to be very close here. Might going to have a measurement here. Now the referee does take a timeout. We'll take a measurement. We'll take a quick 30-second timeout. Be back with more Black Cat football on KDKZ Channel 18. Rates are at an all-time low, and now is the time to refinance. First Day Community Bank offers fixed-rate home financing for terms up to 30 years. And with a fixed-rate mortgage, your monthly payment and interest rate will remain constant for the life of your loan. Get access to equity in your home or lower your monthly payment. Contact First Day Community Bank today and ask about a fixed-rate mortgage. First Day Community Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Apply for your fixed-rate loan at fscb.com. You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football only on KDKZ Channel 18. 
Chain gang leaves the field after a measurement. First down, Black Cats. They move the chains again. Now Griminger in the shotgun. Fakes this hand off to Sawyer. Goes straight ahead. Weaves his way forward down to about the 20-yard line. Gain of a couple. Tackle by number 40, Danny Gillespie. Gillespie on the tackle. Gains five. It'll be second down and five. Good play by Griminger. He was pretty patient there. Never rushed it. Waited for his blockers, sidestepped a man, got five yards, second down and manageable. Royer in the shotgun again with Griminger. Back to pass, looks across the middle. He's got a Whoa. man open there, and he trips Ooh, over the defender, and here comes a flag. And you had to see it coming as Karokas was there, and the defender got tied up. Their feet got tied up, and Karokas went down, but there will be a flag on the play. Number one, T.J. Clark there on the coverage. And they will say pass interference. So they'll march <laughs> off the penalty. It should be a first down, Black Hats. They'll move it inside the 15 down to the 10 yard line. Black Hats will have it there first and 10. They go with the hurry up offense again, no huddle. Grimminger with Royer in the shotgun. Four wide receivers tight to the near side here. Now Griminger hands off to Royer, goes straight ahead, breaks a tackle, steps into the end zone. No signal yet, touchdown Black Cats. <laughs> Good run by James Royer, 2.53 to go. Second quarter and the Black Cats strike again and they now lead 28 to nothing. Hey, the other guy never would sing, right? No, I kept free. waiting and waiting. And, and it's hard to see from this far away, but I thought he was in, but I was waiting for the official call. Good patient run by, by Royer that time. It's a handoff from Griminger, and he just waited for his blockers to get ahead of him and just sidestepped the man and walked into the end zone. Too easy here for the Black Cats in the first half. Griminger to hold. Snap back. Ball down. Kick is up. Good kick. And it's plenty good. Ty Burks on the extra point. 2.53 to go. 28 nothing Black Cats. You're listening to Black Cat football on AM. 1450, 103.9 The Mix, and KDKZ, Channel 18. We'll take a 30-second timeout and be back with the kickoff right after this. Hi, folks. Dennis Barrett, Barrett Jensen Chevrolet in downtown Fredericktown. Whether you purchased your last vehicle from Barrett Jensen Chevrolet or not, I'd like to invite you by to visit our service and parts department. Any of our Chevrolet certified service technicians are ready to assist you. We're just off the court square, downtown Fredericktown, and see us where cars and service cost less. You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football, only on KDKZ Channel 18. And welcome back to Black Cat football on KDKZ Channel 18 as Ty Burks set to kick it off from his own 40-yard line. Black Cats went from the opening whistle and have scored early and often. Burks gets it to the 15, taken there to the 20, across the 25 to the 30, dives forward to the 31. Eagles will take over first and 10 there. Good run by Mike Keel Walker. I went over in the next box and they're watching the game. Oh, <laughs> man, we thought we had good accommodations. I'm going to have to talk to my crew about this. They got the Cardinal game over there after uh, Cardinals in the bottom of the first. They trail 3-0 already. So they got their work cut out for them here if they plan on advancing. Here we are, 35 nothing Black Hats with 136 to go in the second quarter. Sonia, questions? Eagles in the shotgun. Four wide, three wide receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Hand off to the tailback and nothing doing. Good play again by 61, Nathan Allgaier. There we go again, pretty. Tackle there for a loss of one. Check it, a loss of six. Going to bring up a second down and 16. As they move the ball back inside the 30 to the 26. Eagles break the huddle now with two wide receivers to the near side, two to the far side. Put a man in motion. Now 16 is in there as a quarterback, and they hand off to the tailback. And nothing doing. Brought Austin Lynn in as the quarterback here. Not sure if 
McDaniels got hurt on that last play where they took him down for a loss back during the last series there or not, but he's not in the game. A few technical issues here as the <laughs> clock continues to run inside of 20 seconds now. Eagles, this will be the last play of the half. They are in no hurry here as they go two wide receivers to the far side, two to the near side. Austin Lynn, the quarterback now, the hands off to the tailback, number 10. He gets back out to the original line of scrimmage, may lose one. That's McKeel Walker, and that's going to do it for the first half. All Black Hats here. They lead this ball game 35 to nothing. We'll take a four-minute timeout here and be back with the halftime show right after this. It's the huge summer clearance event. Hi folks, Sean Waters here for Benning Ford in Fredericktown. The new 2013s are arriving and we have to make room. That means all 2011 and 2012s have to go, up to $9,000 off select models. And did I mention 0% financing? That's right, get to Benning Ford to take advantage of huge savings and 0% financing at the summer clearance event. Call 783-6432 or stop by Benning Ford where the deal is worth the drive or visit us online at BenningFord.com. You're watching Fredericktown Black Hats football, only on KDKZ Channel 18. First play from scrimmage is Grimminger hands it off to James Royer. Gets out across the 35 to the 37, and we're underway here to start the second half. A gain of three, second and seven. Welcome back to Black Hat Football on AM 1450, 103.9 The Mix, and KDKZ Channel 18. Four wide receiver set to the far side. Fake the handoff to Griminger. Throws out to the far side. Oh. Sawyer hit hard at the 35. Bounces off a man and gets out to the line. Back to the line of scrimmage. Holy cow, that was a good hit. A little helmet to helmet there. I expect these guys to be in probably the first series here and then we'll probably start seeing some clean jerseys say, out partner, there. Get your uh, program ready because here we go. Griminger in the shotgun again. Two wide receivers to each side. Griminger takes the snap. Now he rolls to the near side looking down the field. Throw this Sawyer at midfield. Skipped it to him. Short hopped it to, the, to him there on the coverage. Cortland Shannon It's going to bring up a fourth down and eight and the Black Cats will punt as Austin Smith Drops back to his own 20-yard line. See, awaits the snap here. T.J. Clark stands back at his own 40, and he's going to bomb it over his head. It's not back near far enough. Austin oh, Smith takes it off was, the ground. He caught the ball with his knee on the ground. And he did. It was a low snap, and Austin Smith went down to get it. Couldn't help but kneel down to get it. They'll spot it at the Black Hat 25-yard line, and the Eagles cut it, catch a break. Spot it inside the 25 at the 24, and the Eagles take over there first and 10 with 9.25 to go that's third a, quarter. That's a big mistake right there. Can't do things like that. Deshaun McDaniels, the starting quarterback, is back in the game, and I'm not sure if it was a disciplinary thing or what it was to end the second quarter there as they had him out for about the last five plays. Now they go four wide receiver set. McDaniel in the shotgun. Now he puts a man in motion. Oh. Fakes the handoff as two guys run together, and he keeps it. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. May have gained a yard, and a lot of confusion there as the two backs, 22 Riley Smith and 10 McKeel Walker, ran into each other there. And now we got an injury on the, on the play. One of the Eagles are down. And one of ours ain't too McDaniels good shape. Morgan there is limping. And Ryan Morgan comes limping off the field. 8.51 to go, third quarter. Let's take a one-minute timeout and be back with more Blackhead football on KDKZ Channel 18. Battery problems. It happens every time you want to do something. You just want to mow the yard, right? You've got to make it to that big meeting on time, and your watch quits. you got to be somewhere, and your car won't start. Right in the middle of a conversation, and the battery conks out on your cell phone for every kind of battery. You're watching Fredericktown Black Hats football 
only on KDKZ Channel 18. Timothy Clayton's okay. We get back underway here. Handoff to the tailback. Nothing doing as they drive him back. It's going to be a loss of three, maybe four. It's going to bring up a fourth down. Eagles are unable to go nowhere. Black Hat defense standing strong. Yeah, it looks like Cody Mintier had him by the waist there and drug him down. It's going to bring up a fourth down and nine. Eagles certainly will go for it. Ball inside of 25 at the 23. Good defense by the Black Hats. Clock continues to run. Under 7.20 to go, third quarter. Now they put a man in motion. Rolls to the near side, looking down the field, looking. Heaves He's to the open. end zone, wide open, touchdown. Good play by the quarterback. As he throws to Devon Harrell. McDaniel rolled to the near side away from pressure and then turned. Made a good throw, too. You're throwing on your That's hard to offside go to your left like that. Side, yep. Threw a strike for about 30 yards to a wide open receiver, Devon Harrell, in the end zone. Eagles finally get on the board. They trail 35-6 to six as they attempt the extra point. Here's Adam Cooksey. Too many men on the field there as Guest rushes off the field. Snap back, ball down, kick is up, oh, he slips, slips and falls. Extra point no good. 7-10 to go. Eagles finally get on the board. They trail 35-6. to six. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Be back with the kickoff right after this. Nothing is better than a famous ice-cold root beer from Dog & Suds on Highway 67 at Cherokee Pass. That is unless you order up one of Dog & Suds Texas Burgers or Coney Dogs. Dog & Suds is the original burger and root beer fun place to be, and they're now open in Cherokee Pass. Stop by Dog & Suds Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m., Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. Enjoy that great old-fashioned flavor of Dog & Suds, now open in Cherokee Pass. Cherokee Pass. You're watching Fredericktown Black Hats football only on KDKZ Channel 18. All pink out here this evening, all in the stands. It's Breast Care, Breast Care Awareness Game. Uh, beautiful Friday night, 7 10 to go, third quarter. All Black Hats, they lead this ballgame 35 6 as the Eagles finally got on the board there with a 30 yard strike from McDaniel. To Harrell, extra point no good. Now Adam Cooksey set to kick it off from his own 40-yard line. Collected some food for the food pantry too, coming through the gate. Uh, got in free if you brought a couple cans of food. And, uh, when, I, when I come through, they have had a pretty good load in the back of the truck. Excellent. They can always use it. Uh, the Madison County Fair. We have the Mister and Miss Madison County. The kids uh, collect food, and, and that's how they determine the winner. 3,287 pounds. Ooh, that'll be good for him. Kick off to Sawyer. He picks it up at the 24. Sidesteps a man, tries to get to the 30, and he does. They'll spot it there. Black Hats take over first and 10. Smells at like the 30-yard line. Smells like we're on fire, Dave. Well, I hope not. <laughs> Black Hats are on fire. Yeah. Pretty good ball game here. Uh, talked to some of the guys down there. Said Klein uh, come out had some kind of shoulder injury, and they, they didn't want to push it no more, so they were going to keep him out the rest of the game. Sawyer comes in motion. Grimminger fakes the handoff. Now he keeps it. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Going to gain a couple, and then he's thrown backwards. Not sure how much longer I'd keep him in the game. Good play by the defense that time. I'm not sure, partner. Get that steel plate fixed and more yeah. insulation around. <laughs> Set to go here. They go four wide receivers to the far side. Royer still in the backfield with Grimminger on the keeper. Tries to go off left side. Comes back across the middle to the near side. Breaks a tackle at the 40 to the 45 to midfield. Down to the Eagles 47 yard line. Good run by Grimminger. She had a Blocker out there in front of him, Brian Fingers, leading the way. First down, Black Cats as they move inside Eagle territory. I almost think if they wouldn't have scored there, uh, we might not see these guys, but since they scored, I guess we're going to go ahead. And... Four wide receivers set again. They go to the far side. Grimminger in the shotgun again, takes the snap. Hands off to Royer, breaks a tackle at the 45, drives forward to the 40. 
Gain of seven, going to bring up a second down and three. Good hard run in there by Royer. Looks like he's uh, ready to go. Back in good health. We be, need that going down the stretch here. Yep, be good to see Reed Roberts try to get back in here pretty soon. Now Royer, Sawyer, Karokas, and Proffer all go to the far side. Grimminger on the keeper breaks it inside the 30 down to the 20. Five, good run by Grimminger. Waited on his blockers again. He's been real patient. Got Wait him. for those guys to get out in front of him. Got it rolling now. Now the wide receivers, no huddle, come to the near side again. Four wide receivers again. Sawyer, the widest of them. Grimminger in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Hands off to Royer. Drives straight ahead. Gets maybe one down inside the 25 to the 24. Grimminger right in there, handed it off, and then tried to lead the way. <laughs> yeah, he was blocking. He was pushing and ended up behind him, so he was <laughs> doing the pushing there. But a gain of one, second down, gain of two, second down and eight. We go with the hurry up again. Four wide receivers set again to the near side. Grimminger goes straight ahead, breaks a tackle, dates down to the 20, turns the corner to the 15, dives forward to about the 11. Good hard run by Grimminger again. Looks like he's determined to go down and get a score, Coach Court, Hanson. Cortland Shannon and Adam Cooksey on the tackle. Sherman Taylor also in there on the tackle. Nope. Now, no fooling around on this series. Yeah, he wants to prove he can put up more points and then get those guys out of there. Grimminger in the shotgun again with Royer. Four wide receivers go to the far side this time. Hand off to Royer. Breaks the tackle. Four guys on him, and he's driving. A lot of power in those legs to keep driving forward like that. He gets inside the 10 to about the 8. Good run by Royer. He had her in low, didn't he? He did. Four wheel drive low, just dragging him along. Not a black hat in that pile as there was four, four eagles there. Now we go hurry up again. Two wide receivers to each side. Grimminger goes with the hard count and puts Sawyer in motion. Now he looks across the middle, still looking. Now he's flush out of the pocket. Now he oh, throws across no. the middle into coverage and knocked down. A good play by the defense. <clears throat> he's got to learn to eat that ball. Two black hats there, Royer and Karokas, but also threw into double coverage there as the two came together, which put two defenders there too. Tuck and look to the other side and roll out or something. He can't just throw that ball up for grabs like that. Cooksey and McDaniels were both there. He just threw it up for grabs. You're right. Now the four wide receivers go to the far side again. Grimminger takes a snap. Quick out to Sawyer. Overthrows him. Goes up and gets it. Sidesteps a man at the five and walks into the end zone. Good, Good play by Justin Sawyer. Good block by Jake Crocus out there. Sawyer on the little slip pass again at the catches it at the seven. Waited for Crocus to join him out there. Made a good kick out block. And Sawyer was able to sidestep a man and step into the end zone. Touchdown Black Hats again. Impressive drive there. Yeah, like I said, it didn't look like there was any fooling around that time. He just wanted to kind of make a point and move it down the field and put, put some numbers on the board. Ty Burks in again to attempt the extra point. Grimminger on the hold. Eagles jump again, and a flag comes in. Something they really need to work on there because that's like the fifth time they were offsides on an extra point attempt. Really no reason for that. I mean, you know, you're down 41-6. to six. It's not like you're going to block an extra point. Ty Burks again set to go. Grimminger the holder. Snap back, ball down, kick is up. And it's good. Number 15, Cortland Shannon took a little hit there as he tried to block that man on the end of the line there, snapping pretty good. 4.16 to go. Third quarter, all black hats, 42 to 6. Take a 30 second timeout and be back with the kickoff on KDKZ Channel 18. Fall is finally here. Time to hit the outdoors, and Ward's Farm Center has got you covered. They've got muck boots to keep you warm and cozy, food plot mixes, lime, fertilizer, spreaders, and drag harrows. Ward's Farm Center is also your full-line big game headquarters with ladder stands, hang-on stands, and ground blinds, including the all-new VS360, the biggest and baddest ground blind in the industry today, and all the accessories you'll need for a successful hunting season. They're all at Ward's Farm Center in Fredertown. Check them out today or give them a call at 783-3100. You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football, only on KDKZ Channel 18. Partner, we've never, we've, we've learned to never give up on the uh, Cardinals, but it's not looking good. Not looking good. Four nothing. Ty Burks steps into it, taken at the 25. 
to the 30, puts his head down to the 35, breaks a tackle, gets out across the 40, spotted at the 42, first and 10 Eagles, and they aren't quitting. Daniel McCray on the carry. Central having a little trouble with Dexter up there, 14 to 7, and uh, I think this new Mandarin County team beat Dexter. I believe you're right. They've only had two wins on the season, uh, Kennett and Dexter, I believe. But uh, And we're, we're probably going to end up seeing one of those two teams, either Dexter or this team here, and probably district play. Central got their hands full, 340, 340 to go, third quarter. All Black Hats, they lead this ballgame 42 to 6. <clears throat> You're enjoying Black Cat football on KDKZ Channel 18. McDaniel in the shotgun. Three wide receivers, four wide receivers. Now he back to pass. Flushed out and tries to screen to number 22, Riley Smith. Nothing doing, and McDaniels goes down again. I think he slipped and fell that time, though. Sawyer, no. Sawyer was put the pressure on. He kind of moved around, came right up through the middle, and uh, put a little pop on him to make him hurry up. That'll make you rush for sure. Coming from those corner blitzes, you can't hardly see them sometimes when you're rolling to the other side and you get your head zoomed in on your receiver and a guy comes from the far side. It's a good way to get your clock clean. Yeah, a lot of times they keep him back on this defense, but this time they've been moving Sawyer around a little bit, letting him find the opening. and Turn him loose. Let him go get him. <clears throat> now McDaniels comes under center. He's got Corey Guest in the backfield. Bring a man in motion. Might have been two, and there was. Flag comes in as number 10 takes the handoff. Gets across the 40 to the 44, but that's going to come back. McKeel Walker on the carry. Two men moving at the same time. That's a no-no. They brought one from the near side, from the far side in motion, and before he could get reset, number 10, McKeel Walker, came in motion, and you can't do that. So there's a flag. We'll march it back. Five, I'm sure. Right Town's played a pretty clean game tonight as far as penalties. They have. They'll spot it all the way back to the 36. He's second and 15 with 150 to go third quarter. If you're just joining us, total domination here in the first half. And the Black Hats now lead 42 to 6. Big game next week, partner. North County comes to town. North County putting up a lot of points. Coach McDowell got him going there. Put a man in motion. Walker hands off to him. Now he uh, tries to come back up the middle. Good run that time as he gets out across the 40 to the 41. McKeel Walker again. They put him in motion again, and McDaniel handed off to him a gain of five. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage which is the 41, so it's going to bring up a third and 10. Under a minute to go, third quarter. Black Cats checking in a few new players here. And some kind of equipment malfunction there. Oh. Lucas Clark into the ball game. Nose tackle. Walker fakes the handoff around. He rolls to the far side. Looking down the field. Got a man across the middle. And it should be a flag. a flag. And it is. Pass attempt to McKeel Walker. Proffer got there just a little soon before the ball did. Shouldn't be flagged. Pass interference against Proffer. They'll march it off 10. And they will move the chains. 15. Automatic first. Oh, 15. Yeah. They'll move it, move it inside Black Hat territory to the 44. But... More importantly, a first down for the Eagles. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Eagles break the huddle now. Two wide receivers to the far side. And the buzzer sounds to end the third quarter. All Black Hats, 42-6. to six. We'll take a one-minute timeout. Be back with the fourth quarter on KDKZ Channel 18. At Check, Please in Farmington and Poplar Bluff, they have the money you need today. They offer competitive rates on title loans up to $5,000, and they do payday loans up to $500 for your convenience. Check, Please also buys scrap gold, silver, and coins. So stop by and see them today at Check, Please, open Monday through Saturday. In Farmington, call 747-0900, or in Poplar Bluff, call 785-8900. Check, Please, get the money you need today. 
You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football only on KDKZ Channel 18. And welcome back to Black Cat football on KDKZ Channel 18. Just set to go here, start the fourth quarter. Eagles put a man in motion. McDaniel still in the shotgun. Hands off to the tailback straight ahead, breaks a tackle. Gets inside the 40 down to the 38. Good run by the tailback. Put a man in motion, Walker. Check it, that was uh, Stevenson. And then hands off to Smith straight ahead. Got about half of it. It's going to bring up a second down and five. Ryan Morgan still having a little trouble there trying to shake off a little energy. See our uh, new cameraman there at halftime? Got some at the uh, break. Got some moves <laughs> out there, doesn't he? Mr. Matt Benz going to be doing an afternoon show, I believe, and taking over the sports job, is, if I'm not mistaken. Walker will hand off straight ahead. Nothing doing. Hands off to number 22, Riley Smith. And half the defense had him wrapped up there. Nathan Allgaier, Ryan Morgan, and Austin Smith all in on the tackle along with James Royer. We'll say good luck to Jeremy. I got to work with him once or twice. He seems like a really nice guy. He is a good kid. Well, got an opportunity uh, right before we started the game there, and they patched, patched us together there uh, to the, with the Farmington guys and uh, got an opportunity to wish him well. And he's uh, moving back home to Lebanon where his family lives. Man comes in motion. McDaniel takes the handoff. Now he rolls to the far side looking for a man. Going to be oh. almost sacked. Now he's still on his feet, tries to hey. run. Now he just throws I it away, and a flag's going to come in, I believe, and it does. <laughs> Ryan Morgan and others in the pursuit there, and it will be intentionally, intentional grounding there. Is About 18 yard loss. McDaniel was just running for his life there. Ryan Morgan had a hand on him. 18 plus. Whew. Gonna march it way back there. About 23 yard loss on the play. Wow. Move it way back into. He didn't have hardly enough arm to get it back to the line of scrimmage to throw it out of bounds. Eagle territory. <laughs> I don't have an 87. <laughs> Quite a ways is what the PA announcer said. <laughs> <laughs> That's fourth and a whole bunch. <laughs> Eagles back to punt at their own 20-yard line. Takes a snap. The lefty steps into one. A line drive kick. Bounces at midfield. Takes a eagle bounce. Now Sawyer takes it at the 40. Sidesteps a man to the 42. Gets out to the 42. And the Black Hates will take over first and 10 there. I bet we see a new quarterback. What do you want to bet? The uh, third quarter went pretty quick when the clock's running all the time. Looks like Spang Spangler is into the game here. Stop. <laughs> here he comes. Drake Spangler will lead the way the rest of the ball game as Griminger takes a seat. Good three quarters for Griminger. Oh, boy. whole lot of clean jerseys yep. out there now. Chris Philly in the backfield. Chase Shelton comes to the near side. Spangler takes the handoff. Hands off to Philly. And flags fly. Looks like they might have moved a little soon here. See what the referee says. False start. Illegal procedure. Marching back five. It'll be first and 15. Got to expect that a little bit from the new guys. First play. March it back inside the 40 to the 36. We might expect it, but Coach Henson don't expect yeah. it of it. First and 15, Black Gats. As Drake Spangler looks for a call from the sidelines. Henson's taking off his headset, so I guess he's leaving the play call on to somebody else now. Now we come two wide receivers to the near side, two to the far side. Spangler in the shotgun. Here comes the blitz. Hands off, oh, fumble, fumble, and we're lucky to get back on top of that as Philly, Chris Philly, Spangler tried to hand off to him, hit him in the chest, out, hit the ground. Philly was able to yeah, he jump could, on it. He could see that blitz coming from that far side over there. Got a little nervous, but you can tell. Going to march it back five yards. Black Cat's on the move backwards. Second and 20. 35-35, Vianney and, Vianney and uh, Farmington. Farmington hanging on there. A lot of people expected uh, Vianney to, to walk all over Farmington, but not so. Just been watching the scores every week. I, I have a feeling they're playing a little better. Lunsford checks into the game now. Drake Spangler 
in the shotgun. Four wide receivers set, three to the near side. Hands off straight ahead, drives forward to the 35. And that was Lunsford, Lunsford wasn't it? Yep. yep. Ross Lunsford. Ooh, ugly. Just got an update on the car on the Cardinal game. Six nothing Washington. Not looking good, folks. Nope. They're going to be playing golf. It looks like. Let a couple opportunities get away there it's in the only, first game. And the it's only the end of the third, though. Yeah. Still got a lot of ball game. I've got optimism. Three wide receivers set to the near side. Spangler in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Hands off. Straight ahead. Breaks a tackle. Gets across the 34 out to the 40-yard line. It's Lunsford. No, it wasn't either. It was uh, Logan Brown on the carry this time. A gain of... Five. It's going to bring fourth down and 11, so the Black Hats will have to punt. And Austin Smith comes back into the game at his own 26-yard line. One man back for the Eagles. I like to see him hit one of them bombs. And man standing at his own 30. Now he retreats a little bit, and Austin steps into one. 22 lets it bounce, and it takes a Black Hat mm -hmm. bounce That's where you inside the, ball right the 15, there. and they'll down it at the 11. Good bounce for the Black Hats. 22, Riley Smith there. And he let that ball bounce, and it cost him 15 yards. I don't know. <laughs> 5.43 to go, fourth quarter. All Black Hats, they lead 42 to 6. And the Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 11-yard line. If he'd caught that ball, he'd save their team about 15 yards, yeah. and he was at the right distance. I understand him, guys. You know, step up and fair, fair catch it. Fair catch and hold the thing. Eagles break the huddle. Two wide receivers come to the near side, one to the far side. A new quarterback in there? I believe it is. Yes, it is. 16. Austin Lynn takes the handoff. Now it keeps it. Another one of those stick it in your gut and then take it back. Turns the corner, gets out to the 15, spotted at the he might, 17. He might want to put that away a little more on the, carrying the ball. He's kind of looked like he had a loaf of bread. Austin Lynn turns the corner, gain a five, spotted at the 17, second down and five. I don't know who that is. Clock continues to run under 4.30 to go in the ball game. <laughs> Lynn in the shotgun again. Hands off this time. Turns the corner. Gets out close to the 20. Tailback number four, Malik Stevenson. Good run by him. It's going to be close. They're going to say a yard short. Bring up a third down and one. Wasn't that the player they used to have, a real good player, Stevenson, there a couple years ago? Mm-hmm. Now McIntosh checks into the game. Eagles break the huddle. Bring one wide receiver to the near side. Two to the far side. Two in the backfield with him this time. Hands off to number six. Breaks up tackle. Gets a first down. Gets out close to the 30. To the 29. Good run by McIntosh. He looked look like a good hard runner right there. Hit that hole hard. Move the chains. Eagles first down. And 10 from the 28. Under three minutes, 30 seconds to go in this ball game, and the clock continues to run. Don't take, uh, don't take long on that continuous clock. Running clock, absolutely. Fourth quarter go pretty quick. Now Lynn in the shotgun again. He's got two men in the backfield with him, three wide receivers set. Hands off to the tailback. Now he decides to keep it on the option. Now he pitches it. Mm. And hit hard at the 30-yard line. He's going to lose a yard. Carver on the Number tackle. Number six, McIntosh again. A little option there. So they faked the handoff to the tailback and then tried the option. And Pitch off to the left side. Spock. McCray, I think. Oh, McCray. Daniel yeah. McCray that time. It's hard to see those numbers from over here. Now McCray comes to the near side. Lynn in the shotgun. Hands off to the man in motion number four and a good open field tackle there. Stevenson on the carry and a good open field tacker is that Tyler, Tyler Reed. Reed. Yeah, Tyler Reed came up hard and made a good tackle. Knife through there 
for a loss. Going to bring up a third down and 12. Good play by Tyler Reed. Catch the ball. That's what Stevenson came in motion from the far side, and they handed off to him. He tried to turn the corner, and Reed took his legs out from underneath him. Two minutes to go, fourth quarter. Lynn in the shotgun again. Four wide receiver set. He rolls to the far side, looking for a man, throws way down the field to number 17, Chad Moten. Nothing doing, overthrows him by five. It's going to bring up a fourth down and 12, and the Eagles will be forced to punt again. There's nothing going right here for the Eagles this afternoon. they got a lot of work to do. Got to clean it up. Got one more game less against, uh, is it Carothersville or something down uh, there? Portage, 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 Portageville, Portageville, Portageville. Down on the river. Sad. That's probably a whole, that's probably a little rivalry game down there. That's that still Sawyer the in the ball game? Yep. Standing at his own 43 as Guest gets ready to kick it from his own 14. Takes the snap, the lefty steps into it. Gets off a good kick. Sawyer going to catch it at the 40, tries to get to the outside to the 45, and down he goes, a gain of five. Rice and Clark on the tackle. Sherman Taylor in there also on the tackle. Black Cats with 55 seconds to go. Cardinals finally score a run. They trail 6-1, to one, top of four with just 45 seconds to go, and we're going to get off one snap here, and that's going to do it. The Black Hats are going to go to 5-3 and three on the season as they take it to the New Madrid County Central Eagles tonight, 42-6. to six. We'll wait the last play here as Drake, Drake Spangler comes under center with 25 seconds to go as he's going to wait till it gets under, and now he takes a snap, and he'll take a knee. A victory formation. And that's going to do it. All Black Hats here this evening in Fredericktown. In week eight, they win their fifth ball game, 42 to six. An impressive win for the Black Hats. We'll take a four minute timeout and come back with the post game show on KDKZ Channel 18. Nothing is better than a famous ice cold root beer from Dog and Suds on Highway 67 at Cherokee Pass. That is, unless you order up one of Dog and Suds Texas Burgers or Coney Dogs. Dog and Suds is the original burger and root beer fun place to be, and they're now open in Cherokee Pass. Stop by Dog and Suds Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m., Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. Enjoy that great old fashioned flavor of Dog and Suds, now open in Cherokee Pass. Cherokee Pass. You're watching Fredericktown Black Hats football only on KDKZ Channel 18. And now we're set to go as we are jo joined by Coach Arlen Pixley of the new Madrid County Central Eagles here as they fall to the Fredericktown Black Hats tonight, 42 to six. And Coach, not the way uh, you would have liked to see the outcome of the game, but. Uh, your team fought throughout the whole ball game. Yeah, they ran around pretty well, and that was kind of our problem. We ran around, you know. Frederick Town's a team that challenges you on the ground <clears throat> with a physical running attack, and uh, you can't run around it. You got to step in there, and, and you got to man up and uh, take some things on there. And we kind of ran around some blocks and gave them some big plays. We got an opportunity to talk before the ball game on the sidelines there, and uh, you've got some kids that that haven't seen four years yet of. Uh, playing time and it's and it really kind of shows up doesn't it yeah i mean when you play them uh, you know they were a little bit young and inexperienced but they were playing with juniors last year you know we were playing with some we were starting uh, three freshmen last year at this point in the season <clears throat> and those guys are sophomores now they're a year older but you know it comes to uh, a point in time you know whenever you're 15 and 16 you know, expect to be in their level with a bunch of 17 and 18 year olds you still got a ways to catch up so we need to get the kids on track and get them playing football for four years and commit themselves uh to right. play and to, to uh, make that program stronger. Yeah, that's stronger. right. Uh, next week you uh, take on a rival, I guess, uh, Portageville, right? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's not been to my knowledge that we've ever played them in football, but the bottom line is, uh, you know, I believe that, uh, you know, they're having an outstanding season right now. They've got four good running backs that can take it the distance on you, and, uh, you know, they're a legitimate threat in Class 1. You know, we saw Valley last week and took a thumping by them, and, uh, you know, we got another one this week. So well, you just keep your chin up, have a good week of practice, and uh, go get them next week. And then uh, it, it looks like the way things are going to play out that uh, we may see each other again. What do you think? Well, I mean, you know, <clears throat> that's what I say. I don't think tonight necessarily would have a bearing either way because of uh, where Shannon and his club is and, and, and ours is at. But, 
you know, it'd been nice to get there and uh, do some things better. And, you know, uh, uh, you know, we got to hope we can pick up one next week and maybe move the slot up so we can host that first one. Coach, always a pleasure to, for you to join us, and we appreciate you taking the time. And uh, good luck next week. And if we see you in two weeks, we'll do that. Appreciate okay. it. Appreciate you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll take a quick two-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll be joined by Coach Shannon Henson here on the Post Game Show on KDKZ Channel 18. Are you wanting a peaceful getaway featuring wonderful entrees? Then Vance Vineyards and the Twisting V Grill, east of Fredericktown, is your destination. The Twisting V Grill is featuring two for $22 menu items every Wednesday. Choose from meatloaf, blackened tilapia with Cajun cream sauce, buttered pork chops, smothered chicken with bacon, or chopped steak with mushrooms with caramelized onions and gravy, plus award-winning wines and a setting so peaceful and tranquil. It's like no other in the area. Open Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday from 11 to 8, Fridays and Saturdays from 11 to 9, and Sundays 11 to 4. Visit Vance Vineyards and the Twisting V Grill east of Fredericktown. You're watching Fredericktown Black Cats football, only on KDKZ Channel 18. And welcome back to the Post Game Show on KDKZ Channel 18. Joined now by Fredericktown head coach Shannon Henson. Uh, Coach, 42-6, to six, a pretty impressive win this evening. Well, you know, I, we needed to kind of reestablish our, our identity, I believe, after last week, you know, um, really felt like the, the second half of that game and, and, and offensively all night we, we weren't who we are, um, you know, and I think they came out tonight on defense and, and played an extremely good game against a team full of uh, exceptional athletes. And offensively, you know, I, I think that the – uh, last week we threw the, we called 50 pass plays. Uh, threw it 46 times. Had two sacks and two scrambles. And you know I, we're in a spread offense, but that's not who we are. We got to establish a run game, and uh, we wanted to make that statement tonight, and that's what we did. Feels good to get uh, James Royer back there in that backfield carrying the ball. He looked like he was pretty healthy and ran really hard tonight. Yeah, he did. He's a you know he he's a hard nosed football player, and and of course Jeremy's a hard nosed football player too. And those two as a tandem, you know. Uh, you don't really think they have a great breakaway speed, but you can see what they do when they run hard and they get their shoulders square. They're still going to outrun some people, and, and, and they're tough to tackle. So that's what we got to be able to do, and uh, we did that tonight. And, you know, uh, uh, New Madrid runs a defense that, that can present some problems. They, they walk that backer up. We call it the bear, um, trying to figure out where they put that. And I think out of that quad set, I was able to set that guy where I wanted him instead of where they wanted him, and that really opened up a run game. The offensive line seemed to uh... – find every block and, and made some big holes for the for the quarterback and for Royer, and they were able to put up some big numbers. Yeah, you know, we, we, we mixed up our personnel up front a little bit this week. I uh, had an injury to Seth Fireball, and, and uh, Corey Sorg moved over to center and put Brian Fingers in at guard, and, and, you know, that looked pretty good. So we'll have some tough decisions on that. And, you know, it, it, it's, you know we've got to find a, a, an offensive line that's going to gel and play together and, and do good things and, and, and be extremely physical. You know, you look at those kids, they all play defensive line, and they're extremely physical and aggressive. And there's sometimes earlier, the, you know, early in the season where we weren't nearly as aggressive on offense as we are on defense. And I think we started to establish that and kind of got a good feel for that tonight. Speaking of aggressive, the uh, defense was very aggressive tonight and kept the uh, quarterback on his toes all night long and made some uh, big sacks and uh, had a real good game. Yeah, real physical, you know, getting off the football. Uh, we played our assignments. I think we had one assi two assignment breakdowns. Uh, one time on the option, uh, we bid on the dive, and then, then there's a coverage breakdown on their touchdown. But those things are going to happen, and as long as you're maintaining and doing the things that you need to do the other, you know, uh, 48 or so plays, then, then you're going to win football games. You know, and everybody, the kids are going to make mistakes sometimes, but uh, we just kept coaching them, and, and uh, they kept, kept playing hard and, and, and executing and doing the things they need to do. And, you know, that, res that, that ends in victory most of the time. In the first half there, we saw Patrick Klein go out. Give us a little update on him. Oh, Pat Patrick's got a shoulder issue. It, it, it's something that happens every once in a while. His shoulder pop out, but it pops back in. And uh, we just decided, you know, at the t point in the time in the game that, that we had the depth at defensive back to, to get some other guys some reps. And uh, I'm sure he'll be back ready to go on Monday. There you go. Can we get an update on uh, Roberts, too? Uh, Reed Roberts uh, ha ha broke his scapula, his, his shoulder blade earlier in the year. Uh, he's been cleared to play. Uh, we're going to ease back into that. Uh, there's no rush on that. You know, we still got a few weeks of football left, hopefully more. So, uh, you know, I think it'd be a mistake on our part to, 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 to throw him back into the fire until we feel like that, that that bone's healed and he's established and ready to go. Week nine, we got one more test. The North County Raiders are putting up some points, and tonight they're all over uh, Potosi 27 to nothing. And uh, tell us a little bit about them, and we've got our hands full next week, don't no, we? No, there's no doubt about it. They're a salty football team. They're, they're, they're stacked everywhere. Um, you know, I've got a chance to see them on film just because of common opponents, and uh, 
Uh, they've got an extremely athletic quarterback. They've got two really nice running backs. Uh, you know, either skill kids, uh, receivers, and D backs. They're all salty kids, and you know, I, their offense and defensive line are big and physical. They're they're a, they're a pretty good uh, class four football team. So you know, we know that 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 uh, it's going to be a tough one. Um, we just got to execute, play as a team, and, and and do the things that we know we're capable of doing. And you know, I don't have any doubt that we won't back down. You know, I you know I think we're going to come out and we're going to be ready to go, and we got them here at home. So. You know, I think it's going to be a really good football game. A couple uh, updates that might impress you just a little bit. Central only 14-7 to over Dexter. Yeah, you know, I, I'll find out why that score the way it was, but Dexter's got a great program, and uh, if, you, if you take them lightly, lightly uh, they'll, they'll, they'll come up and bite you. You know, a couple of years ago. We've seen uh, that happen. We, we, you know, we're a senior-heavy team, and, and, and we're kind of running the table in our district, and uh, they come in here and we turn the ball over eight times, and they're district champions two years in a row. You know, it, it, they're they're well coached, uh, they're hard nosed, they're physical kids. I think they're run, young right now, but it, it sounds to me like they're getting some taste of success. So, you know, if if that ends up being the team we pull the first round, we're going to have to be ready to go. But you know, obviously, we're going to worry about North County first. Absolutely, coach. Another great win, and we sure appreciate you joining us. And uh, have a good week of practice, and go get North County. Let's week win. Uh, in week nine with a win and going to the playoffs with a win. You bet. I know everybody in town appreciates your guys' coverage. It's a great deal. We enjoy it. Thank you very much you for bet. joining us. Coach Shannon Henson of the victorious Fredericktown Black Hats as they take it to the New Madrid County Central Eagles tonight, 42-6. to This has been Fredericktown Black Hat Football on KDKZ Channel 18. Be sure to watch this game anytime for free at KDKZ18.com. Wayno's in Fredericktown is heating things up with the best seafood anywhere. Boiled shrimp and crab legs are available all the time at Wayno's. Wayno's has great oysters on the half shell too. Call for availability and gumbo is always available at Wayno's. Want to try something different? How about Gator Tail? And Wayno's is the best place to get a variety of pool boys. Try their seafood combo platter too. Fish, alligator, frog legs, calamari, scallops. Oh, it's so good. Wayno's in Fredericktown on the Courthouse Square. 